In today's video, I'm chilling with my home girl. We were actually having a discussion this morning and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna bring it to YouTube because she and a few of my other friends can give me or other people clarity. So before we get into it, introduce yourself. Hi everyone. <laughs> this the camera day. Oh She's my like gosh. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Angel's channel. I'm Ayo and welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Change of scenery, so I am Mire. So we actually at Ayo's house. We were gonna actually do car conversations, like how I do my mouth things and talk <laughs> to you guys. But it's so hot outside. Don't be deceived by this. I was serving. And so <laughs> in today's video, I I was gonna tell you guys what she got. I got Ayo plug me. I have um, seafood. I have a seafood boil, obviously. And it's from the Crab Queen. It's in the DMV area. I I'm trying it for the first time. My drink and my food is a surprise. I know this is a seafood boil. I don't know what flavor. I don't know how spicy. I don't know what's in here. I know this is like a tea. It's like a mango peach, whatever. But she said it's a tea and it's like, it has pineapple. Because she was like, do you like pineapple? Do you like this? You like that? So I know that for mine. What are you having, Ayo? So I'm keeping it I'm simple. Hungry. So I have fried catfish, mac and cheese, and candy yams. You know, old school classic, you know. That's very American. And then I got that this sweet honey uh, sauce, a little mm. spicy. Cause you know, why not? You know, razzle dazzle a simple meal. You know, why not? Why not? Okay. So and some cran mango juice from my house. Oh, um, what brand is that? Ocean Spray, the only one <laughs> that you need to know. This is sweet. Yeah. It's like syrup. <laughs> it tastes like Kool Aid. It tastes like. The orange Kool Aid in South Africa. You know, the sachet packets you put water in. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, who? Oh, 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 oh. Show the camera. Yeah. It's about to go down. This is like wow. a creamy. Listen, mm. I don't even want to help me yet. It's like mm. a lot. I just, I'm just trying to die when I'm eating. Look, Let look, me look, join look. this video look. too. You want to come eat? <laughs> All um, right. And so. This is my surprise. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The crab queen. You guys outdid yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see yours. Reveal yours. Ooh, that looks good too. Mm, that looks real good. Awesome. You like catfish. Because even at your birthday, you got catfish something. Mm -hmm. I do. I do Show like. Show the people. I like, like, I like a fried fish. You know, oh, I like a grilled good. fish. I like, you know. The catfish looks good. It looks mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. So I am going to have my sausage. Little bit of this. Um, so it has sausage. I think it has egg and corn. I've never had like a creamy seafood. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's different though. Cheesy seafood. But, oh, it's spicy. It's just the way you wanted it, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. How spicy? It's like a six. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the crab queen. I love Recommended by your yeah, girl. Definitely. <laughs> I am. I am a, I'm gonna start doing that now, just telling people to. I'm just gonna tell them to surprise me. No, I mean, like, some places don't surprise you the way that you want to be surprised. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it might be bad. So, but, um, this morning, this is hot. This morning, Ayo and I were talking, and, like, I've always said, I want to find out, because I've been, like, lately feeling, so I just recently moved to the country. How long have you been in America for? Mm, 29 years. And so, we... Because I was born here. Yeah, yeah. So you are Mar you are a real African American. Yeah, I am first generation American. Yeah, first. she's like first generation. So technically, my kids are gonna be like you. Yeah, yeah. Your kids will be first generation if they were born. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so, like, how do you? So basically, today's video we're gonna try get both sides of what's it like being African, as in like like African African, but being raised in America. Do you find it's like different when you hang out with your cousins and how there is? Do you find the lifestyle here is easier to adjust? Or when you go back home? Where are you from in Africa? Let's put that your tell um, us your history first. Yeah, so I am Nigerian American, um from Yoruba tribe specifically. Yoruba? How do you say your full name? Is it Ayominde? Ayomide. Mm-hmm. Shekete. Mm-hmm. So I am not exposed to Yoruba. Yeah. That's the other tribe? There are lots of tribes. Mm -mm. There's two com common ones. There's you Yoruba mean big ones? Ibo. And there's Igbo. Igbo. I think I've actually dated a Yoruba and an Igbo. At, at the same That's time? A, no. <laughs> like, I've only had two. But yeah, anyway, carry on. You were like, what? 
Yeah, so I've I've um lived here my whole life. Mm-hmm. Um and so I'm like think but I have been to Nigeria a few times, once as like a kid, once as like a teenager, and then like um uh, most recently was like when I was like an adult, like I just right before I turned twenty five. Oh. And like a little before oh, the yeah. pandemic in so twenty eighteen. So I've kind of like kind of gotten a taste of it but like i still like sometimes feel like i haven't got like the full experience because of like um just like i was just it's very just different I haven't got like the full like getting to see everything it's mostly like when you go there it's like a family reunion mm-hmm. and if you're like me i'm like a, an explorer by mm-hmm. nature so like i'm like i want to go see like museums and i want to like see waterfalls and i want to like see yeah. like more stuff or like the clubs or, yeah. the, or the marketplace or like I'm like want to like see everything like not just like family. <laughs> do people ever just assume now as you're old that you're like even though I know your parents are from there do they just assume that you also from there or do people just well, assume that like you're not American American do you ever get that go back to your country stuff well for me particularly it depends so it depends on who's asking me like a lot of people will not assume that I'll be like I'm Nigerian or African. Uh huh. Mostly, it might be from like the sound of my voice, the way I like hear myself. Because I was like, yeah, I was born here, so like, yeah, I am as close to African American. I'm literally yeah, yeah African American. American. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I don't really get that mm-hmm. often, but like I do. Like they're like, oh, like your English is so good. I was like, it should be. It's it not. Should it's, be. It should be my first, first language. language. <laughs> yeah. Um. Y'all, this um, is fire. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm like, <laughs> you need to try your food. Try your food and tell me how it goes. Uh. Oh, it's because I'm talking, but... Try your food. I want to know, does your dad want bright price? <laughs> does my dad, like, what? I just, yeah, she's acting all fresh for us. Does your dad want bright price? No. Bright price? He doesn't want Lobola. He just wants somebody to take care of me. Oh, that's um, a, actually, your dad is, like, not a typical, typical. Because, yeah, your dad is, like... can be, but he's more... He, he don't care about the money he wants to know that somebody's gonna take care of him. yeah but like mm-hmm. the bride price or like the dowry of some sort is mm-hmm. kind of like just a formality not more so like people like who do it here it's like it's not a big thing well uh, it, it's like it's more of like it's it's really like it's just a formality as part of like the introduction uh, yeah. and part of the like part of like the cultural like thing because that's just like how they used to do it back yeah. in the day mm-hmm. and like that would actually be a big thing before like a, a woman could like accepted into a new family because it's a big deal Join, yeah joint um joining two families together we party so much yeah mm-hmm. we it's the same it's a whole introduction like, there's like the traditional wedding there's the white wedding there's still the perception you know like there's all it's those the same. It's like, <laughs> there's thanksgiving after the wedding there's the naming ceremony there's the baby shower mm-hmm. see the naming <laughs> ceremony is like mm-hmm. <laughs> like y'all take a cup of that because we have ukela so you send the letter home and then we have ukela with um he comes home with his family and like it's a few of us he picks he says he whatever 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 so there's that that's usually just a small like your family and mm-hmm. whatever whatever this so that's the thing we cook for that and then the go letter goes back and then he comes back with the actual lobola and then he comes back with the gifts so that's a different function it's like a whole big thing like outfits catering this that it's, a, it's too much it's too much money guys it's too it's much a money. lot of money like if and you, then if you got money mm-hmm. marry a nigerian or an indian woman because like we need no black in south africa it's the black guys but anyway we, we, need, we need that but that's the thing like i always i would laugh and say like if i had to marry somebody who comes from their culture like that it would be a lot mm-hmm. <laughs> like because then you have to get like every cultural like yeah. aspect i'm like thinking i'm like if i had to marry because i was laughing i was like what like i was laughing with a friend of mine and i was like imagine if i had to marry an indian guy like three indian white minutes are so like because with me i already feel like the poor person I'm gonna marry, I <laughs> so much. The poor person. Like, mama, like we have to do this for thing. them. Yeah, like, like oh, sorry, this we is have gonna to, be an expensive we wedding. We have to, we have to take food to his family, mm. and then it's like the white wedding, and then it's like, I mean, it's the traditional wedding, and then it's the white wedding, and then the next day, like the families come together and they eat, and it's just, it's just a lot. It's like I always count it as this. It's like four weddings every time you have it because. Every time you have an event, you have to cater. You have to pay for a DJ. You have to pay for outfits. You, it's a Ooh, lot. It's so like, much. Food. And, 
empty event hall and then you can't like if you're black you can't you can't can't not have alcohol at the event it will make people pay for alcohol like sometimes they be doing dry weddings and people are not happy yeah like <laughs> it's, not a good, it's not a it's not a good wedding if there's no if there's not a lot of alcohol and food like that's how people like, oh your wedding was if fun if the food runs out people mm-hmm. are gonna be mad and people mm-hmm. will talk because you know people be talking yeah it's a big ah, it's Africans. a big the yeah. dnb africans we mm-hmm. be talking mm-hmm. the baltimore africans they be talking yeah you don't got enough food yet oh there's no seat yeah mm-hmm. uh-uh. anyway it's off to a bad start don't embarrass yeah. yourself mm. so get your numbers right <laughs> would you would you have you dated outside your race like like non uh, non African non black yeah, non Nigerian uh non Nigerian yeah my ex boyfriend was a was from his family was from Sierra Leone but like they were okay, even so they were more Africa. American than African in my opinions because like they had never been to Nigeria at all mm-hmm. like they had very um, black names <laughs> so mm-hmm. I was just like yeah and they had a very cool classic like last name too so like. If I like literally, I was like, I thought you were a black man. Mm-hmm. I just thought you were just a regular old. He's like, oh, I'm African, and I was like, okay, what do you eat? <laughs> He's like, oh, we chicken eat. nuggets. I was like, like no. chicken. I was like, yeah. I was like, tell me what y'all eat. Um, <laughs> like I was yeah. like, I want, I want to hear, I want to hear the name of the foods. Like, oh, we eat. I was like, I was like, uh, okay. I was like, do you eat like pounded yams? Do you guys like the stews? Do you do, do you do so so? You know, but like. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, and I was well, we eat like pow- different types of swallows, eba, powdered yam, like all of it, right? And I was like, okay, what do y'all eat? It's like, oh, my mom doesn't make that. And I was like, what? Uh-huh. I was like, whoa, red flag, <laughs> red flag on the plate. I was like, what's don't going tell me on? you broke up with homeboy because don't tell me you broke up with homeboy because he didn't eat African food. <laughs> <laughs> That's not definitely not why. It's for logical reasons. Uh-huh. They, they weren't a good enough boyfriend. I was like, it's an easy answer. <laughs> well. <laughs> Now we know. If you watch this channel, this is why she broke up with you. Um, yo, guys, this is turning into a mukbang. How's your food? Like, how's your pasta, your mac and cheese? So, like, I'm, like, weird. So, I'm, like, a like to combine my candy beans with my mac and cheese. Like, mm. if you don't know the combo, it hits. With yeah. The- American mac and cheese is growing on me. I'm like, where's the mushroom? Where's the mushrooms? Mm-hmm. In your mac and cheese? You know what I realized? That Americans are very literal. Like... <laughs> we will say pavement for you guys it's sidewalk like walk on the side of the road <laughs> dish towel is we will say like um kitchen cloth or what's this what i don't know yeah they'll say dish towel for the dish like it's practical things it's like mac and cheese when y'all said you're making mac and cheese yeah the first time i had american Noodles mac and cheese and cheese the first no but the first time i had mac and cheese like it makes perfect sense why y'all call it mac and cheese versus our mac and cheese. Because when I had it, I was like, You guys have huh, pasta. It's mac and cheese. <laughs> it's literally mac and cheese. Um, literally macaroni shells. Yeah. The cheese. cheese. Um, versus us. It's like macaroni, it's a spaghetti, it's a bacon, it's wow, a rare pepper, it's a... It's a it's a salad? How dare you? How? It's a, it's a pasta salad. It's a, a pasta salad. It's a salad. It's a salad. Yeah. <laughs> pasta salad. Mm-hmm. But like to get to your question earlier, no, I haven't dated like someone that was like white or not like mostly. It's I feel like they like you. Like why guys love Nigerian girls? Like, if on TikTok and Facebook, they be it's probably because you know they're not my personal preference, so I'm not like mm-hmm. seeking it out. So like I will like. I also I don't. I feel like my like my close friends and circle like it just like. It doesn't really allow for that energy to like, I guess. Do you have wide friends? I have lots of friends. Um, I have <laughs> lots, lots of, of friends. friends. I have lots of friends, mm-hmm. and um, it just depends on the circle. But like, some some of them are from work, some of them from school and stuff like that. But like, I just never like you know, it's just never been a thing. Even when I, I went to a PWI for college, uh-huh. which was interesting. Um, Whole different story but what does pwi stand for for those that are in oh Africa? predominantly white institution so the counter so basically the opposite of an hbcu which is like a historically black uh college or university like a morgan state or anything like that so like i went to a small pwi so a small liberal arts school um a little different but some people have gone to like really big schools like morgan state morgan state is an hbcu Ooh. and then there's like also college park morgan state yeah, and College Park, which is a really big um, PWI, 
in Maryland as well, where a lot of people go as well. Fear the turtle, they say. Um, <laughs> Why would you fear a turtle? I mean, that turtle, you're supposed to fear them. <laughs> you know, because snapping turtles are actually dangerous if you actually see one. They be biting. Mm. So your, your mac and cheese, you don't eat it on its own, you eat it with the yams. I can eat them on my own too, but like I like the candied yams and mac and cheese combo like sweet and savory yeah so like i'm really big into like a sweet and savory mm -hmm. you know i like a say you know a little spice sometimes like when i get the right combination mm -hmm. i like to stay away from certain flowers like i'm not really big into like sours so like sour so like i don't like um hot sauce the reason why i don't like hot sauce um, particularly is that i don't like vinegar e tasting things uh, so tabasco's out for you yeah but I like like hot chili sauce and like different Have types. Have you had Nando sauce? Yeah, I've had all of them. Uh -huh. And so like that is like the type of like sauces that I would like, but they're mm -hmm. not as vinegary to me. Mm -hmm. um, and so like, I like those. So like when I'm like eating, I like spicy food and like if I want a sauce, I'm not going for hot sauce. I'm like, yo, like do you have like something else that I can like, you know, dip it? What know, I different... found is, sorry. Go ahead. Um, a lot of African countries love fish. Like, oh, well, well, the majority of my African friends, y'all love fish. Like, y'all be, I did, when was it? And you were like, gonna make fish in a long, mm -hmm. <laughs> not me. You don't like fish? Oh, oh yeah. You Everyone me. assumes because I'm from Durban, I'll be like, wanting, I love seafood. Oh, yeah, it was recently, I was telling you about yeah. roasted fish. I love seafood, I just don't like fish. I will have like fish curry or fish chutney. That's interesting. But I will not, like, I, I, I think never just go for that. So it's very different. Like, I've had like, I have like people that don't like fish because they're lazy and they can't pick up the bones. I was like, yo, grow up. Yeah, grow I know up. people like that. It's I know easy. Like that. You just eat around it. There's typically let me, just let me, one let me big tell, bone. Let, let me tell you how I have wow. so many people that are like, I don't eat fish because I'm scared I'm going to chew in a bone. I was like, grow yeah, I know. up. That's grow so up. Shit. I don't grow know up. people out here. So grow up. Oh, nah. Grow up. Eat the fish. It's delicious. Grow up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Public service announcement. But anyway. But um, but some people are like, oh, I like everything. Like, like people are like, I'm always like, so because I'm somewhere, always somewhere in between the African and American side of me. So I'm like, <laughs> somewhere I'm like, but person, I'm like, yeah, I was like, I want this a little spicier. Oh, I was like, yeah, I don't mind. Like, I was like, I can eat things with bones in it. Like, they're like, and then some people are like, I need everything boneless. I don't, I don't want to feel any bones. So like, they're like, boneless chicken, boneless everything. Like, I can't eat fish because there'd be bones in it. And I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? So what is the like, so with my host mom, she's black, black American, and mm -hmm. I'm black South African, okay? Mm -hmm. um, color technically, but in America, color don't exist. So I found these things that black people here in America do who have never, like my host mom's never been to South Africa. She's probably seen stuff on time, but like, until I came, she was never like fascinated with anything in South Africa. And so this one time we went to go do our hair. I've always been fascinated with South Africa, but that's also because it's like, I don't know, there was like this one movie that I really liked and it was uh -huh. called The Color of Friendship. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Oh, I watched it a long time ago. It was like on, it was like on Disney yeah, Channel, but that was one of my favorite. Whenever it used to come on. It was I, in South Africa? Well, the, the white woman in the, the white girl that was in that show, she was from South Africa and then she came to live with a black American family yeah, in the yeah, U.S. Yeah. And so, so like, it was like these big cultural differences and then also racism, apartheid, mm -hmm. like different things. So like, I had always been like super interested in it, but I didn't know a lot about uh -huh. it. Yeah. And so I learned a lot of it through like maybe school, but like also it was like, but it's like one of the countries that like, it does get a lot, a little more shine in terms of like people like in America, meaning that people like will have a little more information about it because of the- approach. About South Africa. When I say that, like some people are very aware of like Nelson Mandela about, about a uh, part- Trevor Noah. Like, <laughs> Trevor Noah, who's another <laughs> classic and stuff like that. But like in terms of like, that's how some people were like introduced Which to like, means. to just like South Africa in general, just like even having a little bit about it. Like for me, I also like watching like South African movies on Netflix and stuff like that. And so like, there's like one show called Blood and Water oh, on South Africa. I've never watched that, but yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, or like different movies and stuff like that. And so like, that's how I started getting like a little more introduced to like, you know, getting a feel for like culture and like some of the things. And that was just one way, but like I also like, there's not a high concentration of South African people in the DMV. Mm -hmm. There's and none in Mer in so like, America. So, but West Africa, we heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're heavy. Y'all everywhere. We are heavy. We are heavy. They like everywhere. South Africa, Mozambique, UK. Lesotho, London, London, day day. Like there's so many. Like 
I love the Nigerian accents, like Nigerians that are like British. They, because it's like from Nigerian, people are like, oh my god, like, but like, you can hear the language when I come out too. Yeah. But, but don't let them be shocked. They hit you with the ah! Mm. Oh, yeah, everyone saw it. <laughs> and you'd be like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Those I love. Um, I love a British Nigerian. But I, yeah, but I was saying. It's one of my favorites. Classic. What? If you're out there. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody out there? I'm coming to London next year. Like, Amen. bring somebody back. Hit me up. Hit me up, okay? <laughs> if I'm single by then, because at this rate, I might not be God single. willing. God willing, what? You won't be single by then. God Listen, willing. God willing. Why are y'all praying for me? Y'all got to have your own issues to worry about. Me, oh, I'm I, do, I, do. I mean, like, God willing for all of us. I might meet my husband in your wedding. Mm -mm. You never know. Me too. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or any anyone. Let, let me apply. Let me apply pressure. Stop saying that. That's a lot. I don't want to have your marriage or mine. That's what they say. Weddings is where it's at. They're like, if you want to meet somebody, go to more weddings, right? I, they're like Africans. What was that? Um, the the um IG post or whatever. No weddings, airports, yeah, yeah. uh, the gyms, yeah. places, um, and then just definitely the parties and. Right, that's why you gotta go to the game nights. You got, me, you, got you gotta mingle. Me, I'm tired. Your Nigerian guy finished me. I'm tired. I'm tired. Ah, I'm like pepper. I'm oh, going back to the ones that I ate. I'm going back to my chop breakfast. Chop breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last. Last. <laughs> you know when you're tired, you're so almost so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> last, last. Bad energy. Stay like, far away. Like the funniest thing I've you when your heart is broken from something you don't even really like. And when they show you flame, you just like, ha, ah, chop you know, breakfast. When they, when they keep you at your party with drops. Everybody got chop breakfast. breakfast. Uh, actually, let's play that song. <laughs> one time for the one so, time. <laughs> so, it's enough for me. I'm going back to South Africa. Oh, um, um, well, you really, the thing is, there's so many different I haven't types date, of I haven't dated a black American. I was like, I haven't, in fact, not, let me not say black American. I haven't dated Americans. Oh, but, like, it depends on how you, it depends on how you, you gotta be sourcing them Honestly, properly. it's not even a thing of, of culture at this point. It's just the, the person who you meet. No, they are potential. Just think, well, I'm going. There's truth to what that. Was that? <laughs> hence why, hence why there are three beautiful women at this table still single. You know, I could be uh, dating tomorrow, but I, I, I mean, do I want for love or for money or for looks? <laughs> no, mm. don't listen. Anyway, but you know, <sighs> I mean, most recently I've just been dating a lot of money. Then. Not most recently. You only have been dating the German. They're the main population in your status. Damn. But no. also, am I married? No, but, <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. I see these IJ a lot. Please help me. Taste it. It's good. Mm. Um, I'm stuffed, guys. IJ has helped me. This they gave me extra. I feel. So I was saying, I always see these people post posts that like Nigerian guys are like this, like that, like that. I'm like, wait. In which world? <laughs> in many worlds, it, it in which in which world it depends on it just depends on how you're sourcing. Them. That's on mm -hmm. where are you sourcing. It them? depends on the man. There are actually some really good ones. Okay, y'all. So I'm trying to think. I was asking you a question before we got we went down the, <laughs> no, trail. the whole the whole dating thing. What yeah. similarities you see here in America or in the Black American mm. culture? that is similar to like the Nigerian community. Like whether it's like how you cook food, well, I think, or, or how they do certain things, like you know like, I think uh, there's a lot of similarities in how we do fellowship and community. Mm -hmm. I think that that's something that like, it can be really easily integrated between like, you know, when I'm thinking about like the way that we do church fellowship, like when you think of like a Southern Baptist church and just yeah. like, African Pentecostal church like it's very like similar very similar in terms of how we praise and how we like the same values and stuff like that like there's, uh -huh. there's a lot of similarities there um in terms of like how <laughs> we might be a little distrustful of white people <laughs> you know even just like in the I don't know like if it's Nigerians that have learned from like black television and they've like integrated into their culture when it comes to like how we like view certain things and I think about like law enforcement is one thing that's like it mm -hmm. comes up but like also just like how we com community is really big like yeah uh, one thing like not every not everybody 
in the U.S. or not everyone in Nigeria, but like we have like very communal societies, like where you're like, hey, everyone on the street is looking out for this person. Everyone is here, you know, like looking out for people and like taking care of people and stuff like that. And I think that that's very similar between black yeah <laughs> like okay. the black you know the swarm it's in your dna like it's in our dna to celebrate the big things the small things to like to be there for people i think that that is very very like largely when i think about like the similarities like sometimes i'm like oh i like was in the black student union at my school but i also was like vp of the african are you in a sorority or no explain that can y'all just quick quick rank guys oh well you're asking the wrong one because i was not in a sorority or and we didn't have sororities and fraternities on my campus and stuff like that but ij went to a school that had sororities and i'm not in a sorority but very basic what i understand (laughs) sorority is for like women Fraternity is for men. men. Yeah. yeah, I know that. But it's, that's all it's, I know. And it's I know really it's like nine. sisterhood and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And so, like, for the Divine Nine, that's like HBCUs created their own sororities and fraternities that were going to be focused on, you know, their belief systems, their values, their community service, and also like representation because so many of these like white fraternities and sororities had traditionally left black people out or had made them do you know, working twice as hard for half of what they're getting and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And so, like, there's, like, this big hazing culture. There's also, like, you know, a little hazing in a lot of different sororities and fraternities, depending mm-hmm. on them and how they structure it. Okay. But a lot of their values are big on community service and sisterhood and, you know, valuing their community and sewing into those people and, like, creating and building change and stuff. And so, yeah, I want to say, like, for some people... I think a lot, uh, one thing I would say, like, a lot of Africans, I know specifically, like, Nigerians, they will think that sororities and fraternities are cults. Yeah. Because, like, there were some, they would have, like, those type of things, I think, I don't know, like, in Cameroon or anything, but, like, I know, like, oftentimes they'll, like, not, they like, they'll press that their children not join sororities or fraternities when they go to college, because, even though, like, some people do, mm-hmm. but they're like, yeah, it's a cult. It's a cult. Oh. You know, like, they'll, like, they're, because, like, something similar might have happened in Nigeria. I don't know exactly, like, the type of um, organizations, but, like, you know, they would worry that, like, you know, you'd be joining something that was, you know, not of God. And so, like, um, and so, like there's always been, like, some, there's some um, cultural things where, like, they're not... Sh- some people, that's true. Some people heard, avoid I've heard that, that. Yeah, I've heard the, like, it's a cult situation thing. But that's good. Thanks for explaining it to us. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to bring- it here <laughs> because I feel like this is a long... A little bit, but like, Video. so Angel, how do you feel that in our conversation, I'm uh-huh. asking you a question now, uh-huh. but like, how do you feel like, you know, as being someone that has come, like immigrated to America versus like me, who's like lived here, like, uh-huh. what are some differences that you've noticed? Differences or similarities? Both. Maybe you can pick one, you know, whichever one. <laughs> differences is a lot. I, I'll do differences because that's easy. Um... For example, it's same thing with community. I find, I don't know, well, obviously we, I love people mind their business, so it's a suburb area, but I find that, yeah, people are not as friendly as in African countries because South Africa is a very friendly, friendly country in general, but I've been to the Sutu Mozambique and people are just so welcoming. They're like willing to help you, that kind of stuff. Now I'm not speaking for the whole of America, I'm just speaking about the places that I've lived in. Um, Colorado was friendly, but it's still not to the extent of African countries, you know? And so I find that that's different. And then, yeah, I feel like there's such a work culture and I understand why people are rich here um, (laughs) or make money because they work. Like the first Christmas I spent here in America, I struggled December time. (laughs) <laughs> because I was just like, when do y'all take a break? The same time everyone goes home, like everyone goes yeah. home, and even they give you like three days of yeah. PTO for on Christmas. Time. Yeah, and then yeah, it's like three days. You get half day on the twenty fourth. You off on Christmas day, and then Boxing Day, and then on the twenty seventh you go back. The kids go back to school on, the, on like the sixth of January, and back home it's like kids go back on the eighteenth, nineteenth of January, wow. and so it's like. I remember this one year, kids went back on like the 12th or the 13th and there was such a massive hoorah. People were like, the kids might as well just take turkey for lunch, you know, like the <laughs> versus, yeah. I was like, they go back on the 5th of January. And so for me that, in that sense, it's like, I get why you make so much money, 
but it's also good to spend that money and enjoy it you know like yeah. have time because i feel like here yeah, everyone is more like the hustle hustle and it's like scary because yeah i've, I've pinned, especially I've, if you can't afford yeah to mm -hmm. not be in that like i yeah. feel like the more money you make the more pto you get the more time off yeah. you're able to get the but more. even still with that it's like i see it but i still see where it's like the more money you get the more responsibility you get so it's more also yes it's easy but it's also harder because if you think of people who are running like higher positions mm -hmm. they have more they have more people to answer for and so even when they're on vacation you see people with laptops at the beach mm. or like you know versus in south africa you don't see that you don't see people chilling at the beach with laptops because everybody's know? off yeah everybody's off or even when people go on vacation i feel like when people go on vacation there's that thing of you going on real vacation and it's something Offline. I had to. Turn it yeah, off. and it's something I had to be because, like, I started noticing recently that I started being thing that way. It's like I will go away, but I'm still like trying to make sure I'm doing all these things. And I'm like, wait, wait, I can't. I'm coming with my African ways here. You know, I'm gonna work hard. I love the fact that Americans work hard, but they definitely need to learn. Like, I feel like we need to teach you guys how to take a break. And yeah. vice versa, you'll need it to just win to be serious because I feel like Africans love for everything. Like yeah. we love everything's a joke. <laughs> yeah, but everything's like, a there's joke. like also like there's like a balance too. Like I'm thinking like in Nigeria, like it's so like oh there's like this different culture of like relaxation and how you how you like family is so priority. Like mm -hmm. so like sometimes like it's like oh you need to go to a party for your so and so go yeah. i mean but you got to get the job done but also like they have it won't be paying their workers all the time yeah. so like they were like well mm. might as well enjoy life yeah. i'm not getting paid that's true <laughs> that's true sometimes, sometimes. No, that's, that's not, not it's not that's every what I'm no, but that's what i'm saying like there needs to be a balance so it's like a good and bad thing that i know this is in america and african countries and then there's probably like a whole lot more um i think you guys this healthcare system is a rip off. but that's a topic for another time the taxes um, the, yeah mm. i pay my taxes so this is not my country so i do every, i abide by the law even when it's painful see when my tax went out of my account i wanted to cry mm. i thought they were gonna give me grace i was like oh you're already taking it <laughs> literally but yeah so i think that's it thanks for coming on the channel it's actually insightful because like I feel like I'm not, guys, guys, don't jump into conclusions. I'm not saying that I'm moving to America permanently. I'm just saying that wherever <laughs> I land, because I know I still want to travel, whatever, but I'm always thinking, like, if I if I call this, not home, because South Africa will always be my home, but if this becomes an adopted place, will my kids feel like foreigners all the mm. time? You know what I'm saying? Like, how will my kids, because I never want my kids to ever in life, Feel like they don't fit in you know what i'm saying because they're going to be too black to be black they're going to be too like if they go to south africa they're not going to have a south african accent because they grew up here and then here they're going to be like me you know because in my house we're going to have south african stuff everywhere and on that note this is this is like so full. i just is all dressed up and ready to impress so she doesn't want to come in the camera because she's afraid that you guys yeah. are going to come in her but demands. we have this has been our african diaspora talk we don't even know what we're going to call this topic it's, it's like seafood mukbang slash What's it like to be a foreigner in America slash child of a foreign? I don't even and know. And then also, just bring in a little baby stuff, you know, if you're out there, we out here. Uh, <laughs> if you're out there, they out here. She too. <laughs>